Yo, what's going on, guys? It's Houston Sports Talk back in the video today, and we're going to be talking about a potential um, trade in the NFL. As um, recently, you know, the Cardinals they have you know just kind of went into well, they haven't went into rebuild yet, but I have, I'm assuming that they're on the way to that with the way they finished this season. Um, the with Kyler, you know, Kyler is probably not going to be able, be available until the end of the season next year. He tore his ACL very late into the season. Um, I think he tore it in like week eleven or week twelve. So in that case, Kyler uh, shouldn't probably will not be available until after October. So probably will be in you know available in November. So in that case, I think that uh, Kyler Murray would miss you know almost half of the season um if not you know exactly half of the season for the cardinals next year that leads them to a not good season and i think that the cardinals are also set up to trying to trade deandre hopkins that's what the reports are that's what um nfl insiders are saying that uh the the cardinals this offseason will be trying to trade deandre hopkins um and there are multiple places that are interested in him and i'll list out the teams but there is a certain place that we are going to be talking about him potentially going and yeah so um the three teams at the top of my mind that are interested in him are the green bay packers the new york giants and the new england patriots um you know, I don't see him really wanting to go to the Patriots because of Mac Jones, but I don't think Mac Jones. People call Mac Jones a bad quarterback, which I don't believe he is. Here's what I think about Mac Jones: I think that Mac Jones has no wide receivers, which makes him look like a worse quarterback. Um, I do think that Mac Jones finds his number one wide receiver this year. Is it DeAndre Hap DeAndre Hopkins? No. Um, but I do think Mac Jones looks way better next year. So yeah, Green Bay Packers. Um, I, I have, I have no idea. I have no idea. Um, I, I think it's a possibility. I think with the uncertain, the uncertain of what is going on with Aaron Rodgers this off season is a, is probably a no. Um, I don't think that the Packers are going to be focused on trading a, trading for a, um, superstar wide receiver when, when they don't even know if they're number if their quarterback is going to be returning next season so i just don't i don't and also the packers have never you know been the team to go after number one and also i think that with the emergence of christian watson i just don't see uh the packers trading for deandre hopkins I also think that the packers are going to draft usc's jordan addison in the draft this year so i i i give the packers a no um and that leads to the new york giants um, I know the Giants are still in the playoffs. They have a divisional game against the Eagles, but um, still doesn't hurt to talk about this because I think that this would the D Hop would just make Daniel Jones extremely dangerous. Um, you know, this would be like the Eagles bringing in AJ Brown because you know you saw Jalen Hurts play way different when they when Jalen Hurts has played way different this year than he did last year. I mean, Jalen Hurts was still good good last year but not as good as he's been this year because of aj brown in the in the con in in the in for them um you know i think with the with the return of wandell robinson next year for them and then if you add in d, d hop um and you know if you resign saquon daniel jones will have a hell of a 2023 season you add in that defense that they have um the giants next year would be a scary football team um, I think it would be very hard to win the division, in my opinion, with the Dallas Cowboys and the Philadelphia Eagles in that division. But I think with adding in D-Hop, and um, I think that they, they definitely have a shot. What would the Giants have to give up? Probably that first-round pick that they have that should be around 26, 27, and then the 2025, uh, 2022 fifth-round pick. So um, I don't think that... I don't think that I don't think the Cardinals would reject that. They they're probably looking for first round picks um, going into this off season, and then you get an extra pick for D Hop. Um, I think that the I definitely think that the Giants would become dangerous. I think they have a shot of the division. I think it's very slim because, of, like I said, the Dallas Cowboys and the Philadelphia Eagles. But I'm telling you, you add in D-Hop, it makes Daniel Jones just even, you know, more dangerous as he already is. I mean, Dan, look look at the way Daniel Jones looked in the, in the wild card, um, you know, last last night. No, it was 
no, that wasn't yesterday. That was Sunday. So look how look how Daniel Jones, you know, played in the wild card game against the Vikings um, on Sunday. Had one of his best games we've ever seen him had, and he doesn't even have any great wide receivers right now. I mean, Darius Slayton, who dropped a pass on third and fifteen that could have won them get the game outright. Um, I just, I I think that Daniel Jones, you know, going into next year, D Hop can be, you know, his his you know, his emergence to this league, and I think that. Daniel Jones can have a breakout year with DeAndre Hopkins. I mean, I mean, look at the look at what D Hop did this season and played like only half of the year. I mean, he's he was like a top ten wide receiver in the NFL this season, um, and he only played half of the season because of sp- suspension. Um, so I think DeAndre Hopkins is you know as as people even talk about him, you know they say he's wash. I've heard so many people say that, and it's crazy because. He's only 31, and he's still playing good football. So he's still the same elite wide receiver he was three year, two years ago. So and the, he's still the same wide receiver he's always been, just his age is up in. And he also was suspended half of the year. So and he and also not to not to mention, but do you know who was throwing him the ball this season for after Kyler was hurt? Which um, when Kyler was playing. In the first couple games when D Hop returned, Kyler was actually giving Hopkins some really good games. I think Hopkins had like a two, two or three touchdown game at, against the Saints on a Thursday night football. But think about who DeAndre Hopkins had um, throw him throwing him the ball after Kyler Murray got hurt. Um, you know I'm a Longhorns fan, so this is no disrespect. But Colt McCoy, um, he wasn't good at all. Um, so that's who he had throwing the ball. And then David, David Blau. I mean, so DeAndre Hopkins, after Kyler got hurt, had some not so great quarterbacks throwing him the ball. Uh, but I will say as a Texans fan as well, um, he did, he was, he did that in Houston. He had a lot of horrible quarterbacks throwing him the ball and that never affected his play in Houston. So, um, I will say that, I will say that DeAndre Hopkins, um, if anybody should in this league, like out of all the wide receivers, if anybody can, you know, play with bad quarterbacks, it's D hop because he did it for, um, most of his time in Houston. The only good quarterback he ever played with here was Deshaun Watson. And, um, so yeah, um, you know, he played with so many bad quarterbacks here. And I think that, you know, he, I don't think that's an excuse when, when, in Arizona, but, um, I think that DeAndre Hopkins with Dave Daniel Jones would be a incredible duo. I think he would have an amazing season next year with the New York Giants, and I think we'll see what happens. I think some other teams could be interested in DeAndre Hopkins, and it's going to be interesting to see what happens this offseason. That's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed, and let me know your thoughts. Um, peace out.